Welcome back guys. So far, we have created this profile page with a user being able to save his location so that um, you know we know where he is you know, staying and based on that what we are going to do today is create functionality of showing events which are um, you know near to his uh, location okay so how do we do it I have made some you know, changes in the database oops no. SQL Pro okay I have only added these five um, events okay I have removed everything else and then I have these you know um, locations which are very near to where I stay okay and then I have gone so this is like you know very close to my um, you know residence then this is around two kilometers then this is around 10 15 kilometers around 60 and then I have this which is very you know very very far um, a random location okay so what we want to do is when I go to upcoming events I will see the list and as a sidebar I should see a list of um, events which are nearby me okay so let's go to PHP storm first thing which we are going to do is why don't we first create a route okay so that we can get the basic functionality into place okay and also what you will see is I have changed some of the you know fields in the users table this is long okay and that's fine but in here events I have made it LNG because what was happening is I think MariaDB was giving me some problems with the LONG field it was so I decided to move out of that so what I have done is create events table I have just made it I'm going to make it long okay I'm not going to run the migrations right now because uh, this data I want to capture right now otherwise it will take me a lot of time so I have this which is saving the database and the user table should be fine uh, create user table okay um, I have this as long so let me see if my profile controller where I am saving the profile has this right so this is fine and my just um, you know the columns in the migrations have changed okay um, I guess eloquent events is also where I would have changed it right um, okay I'm not doing it so event controller events controller latitude longitude okay so I'll have to change it here as well okay so yeah that's some of the refactor which you know once you see the commit you will understand but nothing major okay and so let's go into our eloquent repository and you know first of all if you see we have made a small mistake where you know, none of the events are coming up although their dates are you know today's date which is 17 so we should have seen them so I'll have to make some small tweaks eloquent events this is why we need you know very proper data otherwise it becomes very difficult to understand what is um, the problem okay so this has to be um, where end date is greater than or equal to I think that should solve the problem yes okay um, so if we make something as I think 16 this as 16 and this as let's say 15 what I would end up having is one past event so that's fine you know I am seeing proper results now so that is okay now I'll get this back to 17 I right now don't want any past events but the main thing which I want to do is I'm going to test let's go to php storm 
okay and now let ha let us have the latitude which is going to be auth user lat okay and lng is going to be auth user long okay now i'll very quickly you know refactor even the users column because i don't want you know some places to be long and then some places to be lng so i'll keep it lng everywhere but for now that's okay all right so we have a latitude longitude i think we should be able to get this let us quickly return and see uh, lat dollar long and dollar radius yes we are getting it so this is fine now what we need to do is um, um what do we say a query you know which is this i had it copy pasted so this is the query which we will be running now how do i get this query that's very simple i have picked it up from google maps near radius query you can look for that and i think it is no this is circle creator that's not it um yeah so radius search google radius search this is what it is but there was a google document yes i think this is the one yeah so this is a step by step process where you know google have given you everything in terms of you know creating the database so you have the database schema uh, the create query the insert query and in the end you get you know this xml kind of an thing anyway yeah which is later on used to display the results but you know that's not something which we are going to do we are right now limited to laravel and so this is the query and this is how i have done it uh, by the way i am running a raw query here i was not able to get this into a normal you know um, query builder thing but that's fine it's um, it's parameterized so no problem there now let us see if we run this query and get a result yes now laravel has some you know configurations which can you know behave against you so what you need to do is oops not thing inside your database.php go to mysql and the strict mode needs to be false okay that's the only workaround which i found and then we have this so we have only two locations now right so event at office this is 1.9 so almost two kilometers why don't we okay we'll do the rounding somewhere else not right now okay so yeah we have this as almost two kilometers this is on 3.7 kilometers and if i increase my radius by let's say 20 20 so i have one more which is you know this panvel which is around 14 and if i increase it to around 70 i think i'll get one more which is this right this is 46 so as you can see we have i think i created five events yes so i am seeing these two when my range is 10 then this is you know which was around you know, 14 you know, 14 kilometer then this is 46 or something and lastly this is very far you know this is latitude 18 19 range and this is 40 so until and unless i guess i increase it to something like this no even a 7000 is not working strange how much is it actually yes it is around uh, 12545 kilometers so pretty far um, i'm not worried about that by the way that's not delhi delhi is not so far from my residence <laughs> so yeah so our query is um, you know, working fine i mean now what we will quickly do is this is a test route right so eloquent events in this 
let's create one function which we will name as what uh, events near me okay oops oh, what is happening all right and we can pretty much pick up everything from here paste it here change this to 10 for now okay we can take it from uh, config or anything but for now simplicity we will do that um, auth I think I already have that so we will get the entire thing removed I only need the auth so yes this is fine uh, DB I think DB will need to be imported so if I get the data then I'm sending data otherwise I'm sending null okay uh, let's clean up our web.php I typically like to experiment like this where I first do some coding in my web.php if it is working I refactor it okay now let's go to our events controller this is where we are getting the data right so we have upcoming events we have past events oh by the way we need to why don't we add this function as a prerequisite in our interface we need this function for the entire application to work so events near me is in the interface so whichever class is going to implement this which is in our case this it will need to support that function okay so things are updated and my controller is loading events so oops sorry i'll come over here events near me is going to be this events events near me all right this should give me either null or it should give me events right so i'll copy this and color this oops this is done now what is the blade that we am, i'm loading event list right so event list blade dot php i'll come over here and now this is going to be tough because this is a markup where column eight right why don't we do one thing we'll remove this this push okay and i have this column i'll also have this entire for each and the past event thing removed from there so i have h1 then this for each for each ends i'll keep it here okay and then we should have only one row which is this with column 8 and we'll have one more column which is column sm4 okay I have pasted the code which is first time checking whether no event nearby me is not null if it is not null <coughs> sorry then we show the data I'll do an else as well okay that's fine so I'm just displaying um, and I'm linking through the slug I'm displaying the title address start date end date, distance which I'm rounding off by two and I think we should be able to see the data right now events undefined variable events near me I think it was nearby me is it Events near me okay hmm what happened oh two places i need to check so yeah this is how now i have event at office events some event at nerul and then this is the panvel thing which is far away even far and this is yeah that's about it so quickly what have we done we have added one new eloquent method which is you know take the users lat long run this query 
this is the main gist you know this is calculating the distance and the radiance and everything um i won't say i completely understand this query but it gives me results so yeah that's it i mean you know this is how the args are being sent the first one is the latitude which is this okay then we send the longitude which is this um and then we send the latitude again and last this is distance which is less than radius okay now this 6371 means it is in kilometers if you uh, let me recap back if you want it in miles okay then what we have to do is the documentation is given so to search by kilometers instead of miles replace 395 so i am using kilometers so it is 6371 if you need miles it will be 3959 okay so that's the only change which you need to make in this query and you should get in miles so your uh, radius will be then 10 miles instead of kilometers if you are you know using a different metrics but yeah so this is the function which is going to give me all the events for a user nearby him okay i'm getting that in my controller passing it to the view the view is just simply rendering it and we are using bootstraps list group item to render that out clicking on it will take me to that particular event and yeah that's about it thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel